Okay, I'm back, and guys, uh, there is actually another mission here, but, um, I have to get a letter for it. I guess this is this world's version of that. So, yeah, I, I can't complete this now, so I guess we're gonna move on to, uh, yeah, because there's nothing else to do. This is the next thing we have to do. We're gonna go to, uh, the final Bowser Galaxy, and, uh... Yeah. Alright, time for the grand finale, Captain. Somewhere in there... Your princess is waiting. What a surprise, it's a comet. It looks like power stars weren't the only things getting eaten up around here. Man, Lava looks pissed. <laughs> looks like Bowser wants to get even bigger. You need to stop that Bowser monster before he devours everything in his path. Get in there and show him what you got. Okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Bowser's Galaxy Generator. So say hello guys to the final mission of the game, Bowser's Fortified Fortress. Now I think there is actually a uh, comet for this, like all the other Bowser galaxies. But we're still going to treat this as like, you know, the finale I guess. This is not the finale of the project. Yes. Funny thing about the finale of the project, uh, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but uh, we still have a ways to go. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely talk about that more later. When it actually becomes uh, more relevant. Thank god I landed somewhere near that star, otherwise that would have been bad. So, wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be Bowser without Hammer Bros. Oh. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a coin for that, but whatever. One thing I will say, though, is I remember this when I played the game originally, but, uh, this galaxy, like, this Bowser level is actually really freaking cool. Like, I remember, like, really, really enjoying this. And honestly, it, it is a really, really cool level. Like, I am I was very impressed when I played through this the first time. It, it, it encompasses, like, a lot of different things, too. Like, there's a lot of stuff in this freaking level. Which is really cool. It, like, quite literally, like, it feels like a Bowser level, which is awesome. Isn't that, like, what you want a Bowser level to feel like? I mean, it has the usual Bowser tropes. It has lava. It has, uh, lots of Koopa-related enemies and traps. It just flows together nicely, too, you know? There's definitely a nice flow to it, which I think is really, really evident. And thank God. And it has some nice length to it as well. Like, the level itself feels pretty long, but not like... Not like unbearably long, like, why is this still going on? But long in the sense that, you know, it's the final level. I can understand why it's kind of lengthy, but it doesn't overstay its welcome either, you know? So honestly, like again, like probably probably one of my more favorite Bowser levels of Mario games. It's really, really good. I'm really impressed with what this gave to us as a game player. You know? Do you? Do you? Very quickly get up here. Is that a common level or is that just a okay, that's just a I also got, like, no coins whatsoever in that. <laughs> For 
some reason I thought I was gonna... For some reason I thought that bullet bill was gonna hit the, uh... Yeah, like that. God. I'm getting wrecked. I see, like, it hit it right there, but, like, why didn't it hit it right there? Hold on. Go on and save your special one and return us to safety. Well, I'll do that, but... Why do I have a feeling there's something up here? There's not. I'm fine. Yeah, we still kind of have that Comet Medal. I think I remember a little bit where the Comet Medal is. And if so, we still have a ways to go, but still, just want to make sure. Suck it, Magic Koopa. And look, even Yoshi is here, too. Like, you get Cloud Mario, you get Yoshi, you almost forget to do this properly. I think this is actually a bad move, please. No! <laughs> the walls have closed in, guys. The walls have closed in. Because I hit something, and... It's probably not gonna be finishing that run. Magic Koopa. Hey, Magic Koopa. You're a stupid Koopa. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? <laughs> no! Rage problem. Rage problem! Okay, good. No! Okay, well, you need Yoshi. Maybe. Are you, okay, you need Yoshi to get that. Wow. Honestly, I was not expecting that. So, uh, hold on, guys. Okay, we are back at this part. Honestly, yeah, that Magic Koopa kind of threw me off, like, a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to make excuses or anything. It's just that yeah, it threw me off. That, that, does bring up, that does bring up an interesting point. Why can't people explain the reasons why they die without it looking like, oh, you're just making excuses. Like, why can't the explanation be right? Why is, like, whenever someone does that, it's like, oh, no. Making excuses because they can't be uh, telling the truth otherwise. I don't know, that kind of bothers me. It bothers me because I am, like, a very kind of boneheaded player sometimes, and I just kind of make dumb mistakes. Not the most, uh, well-coordinated individual. I don't know. Kind of a weird thing, I guess, but... It just seems like, yeah, there are a lot of cases where it's like, I do something wrong, and they're like, oh, you're just making it. It's like, I'm not, that's what happened. <laughs> Again, I have nothing to gain by making excuses. I'm not trying to vie for world's best video game player here. Sometimes things just happen. Speaking of things happening, uh, we're getting ready to go for the final battle here. Hey Mario, I'm huge. God, give it up already. Why won't you stop trying to mess up my awesome master plan? I'm building my new galactic empire right here, and you can't stop me. 
Why don't you just run off and go find some green pipe to hide in? Can't you see that I'm busy here? Ugh. <laughs> I don't have time to chat, so let's cut this short. Shorty. What was he doing? <laughs> what was he busy with? I know we don't want to know, but like... Eh. Okay, so, I mean... What's more to say here? I mean, this is pretty much the same battle we've done m a multitude of times already, just with uh, slightly different variations. So, once again, let's... Uh, let him summon some meteors. Punch the ground. For some reason, that didn't hit him. Uh, not this again. The thing I kind of hate is like long cycles that take a long time to redo. I got kind of lucky right there. His magic number's been four lately, so... At the very least, something will change a little bit. I freaking socked a meteor right in your face. There we go. Hey, look! The Grand Star. And he shrunk. Bowser, you suck. Even Galaxy 1 at 6 hits, I believe. Actually, no, I think Galaxy 1 at 9. I think you were, like, on, like, three different planets. Maybe it was six. Either six or nine. But there it is. There's our Grand Star. Oh, let's do this, guys. Or not! Okay, Bowser just ate it. Well, we're screwed. And he's gonna grow bigger again. Hey, guess what, Mario? Breathe a sigh of relief, because it'll be your last. Know why? Because this is finally the end. The end of you! Oh! <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, this is uh, another phase of the fight. Not a pretty difficult phase, though. In fact, this is kind of a joke. 
You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of uh, Yoshi's Island. Power's gone. My empire's shrinking. My huge cake never got a slice. And he melted. <laughs> Can we actually have the Grand Star now? Oh, well, <laughs> thanks for inviting me on the funnest ride in the galaxy. Okay, she's back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> No deep moments between the two. Being happy that he saved her again. Thank you. <laughs> well, gotta say, that was uh, something. N not really crazy about the boss fight, I guess. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, that looks familiar. PlayStation! <laughs> I always thought we would meet again. Mama! I am Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. I have been waiting for all of you. When that evil monster took our star power, I was separated from my precious little ones. But I knew we'd see each other again. Because... I read the player's guide. No. There is a force that binds us, defying even time and space. Not even the laws of the universe can stop it. I knew its gentle pull would prevail. It is the desire to be reunited with someone who is important to you. That pull is what brought us together. Yes. We have come through so much to meet again. This is not some mere whim of the stars. I am sure of that. Mario. Thank you. Thank you for returning this child to me. I will never forget you. Even when I someday become a star myself. I will never forget you, Mario. Never, ever, I won't forget. Especially because I have your hat. <laughs> May the stars shine down on you. So, um... Feel free to elaborate in the, uh... Comments section. Oh, in a minute, anyway. So the little one was reunited with his special someone. Hmm. But he took on my hat! Oh. And you too, pal. Am I right? That is kind of cute right there. 
All right, you two, it's time to get you back to your home planet. So anyway, as I was getting ready to say, um, feel free to correct me in the comments section, because I don't really 100% understand myself. But Galaxy 2's not really a sequel to Galaxy 1. It is in terms of numbers, obviously. It's the second game that came out for the Galaxy series, but like... I want to say it's the same story, but like an alternate timeline or something. That or due to the ending of the first game, like the events of that game caused this game to happen through a different scenario. I th that that part's always confused me. I don't really know for sure, but like as far as I'm aware of, though, from what I've been told, like. They're two. They're the same story. It's and it pretty much is the same basic story, just from an alternate timeline. This timeline being like where we met up with Lubba as opposed to uh, Rosalina and the Comet Observatory. Anyway, but yeah, here we are. Uh, we can now mess around in. Uh, we can now mess around here for a bit in the credits. And, um, one funny thing, I'll talk about this a little later when we get to it, but, um, I remember there was a very funny, uh, glitch in the credits where you could actually die. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to do that, obviously, because I want to save my progress. I, I probably will have saved already, but still, just want to be sure. Yeah, like, right here, uh, you can, like, if you run back up and, like, jump a few times, or maybe you do a triple jump and then, like, spin out. You can actually get out of orbit and get and die, basically. Which is kind of hilarious. I'm not gonna try to do it, but it, it is here on the, uh, Freezy Flake Galaxy one. But yeah, um, Galaxy 2. Um, obviously it's not over. There's some post-game stuff. We don't have 120 stars. But even then, there's more, uh, beyond the 120 stars. And this will be a 100% playthrough, so you bet your butt that I am going to be doing everything in this game. And, uh, for those who have played, you know for sure that there's, there's a lot more to go. There is definitely a lot more to go. And, you know, I'm looking forward to experiencing more, because... I have 100% that beat this before, like, all the way, but I've only done it once. I've never done it multiple times, and I'm curious to go through the process again, and then just kind of, uh, overall, like, comparing this game to the Galaxy 1 adventure, I guess. Oh, hey, look at this Bowser. Okay. Eat that, Bowser. Yeah, I'm licking you. I'm licking you. And, uh, I... I Basically, as it stands right now, I have mixed feelings about the 100% uh, full requirement. Again, we'll get into that later when it actually becomes relevant, because uh, there's still some other stuff we have to do before we even get to that. But, um, yeah. Got mixed feelings about that, basically. But, um, as far as the game as a, its own, like, I do really like the game. And honestly, this playthrough has gotten me to appreciate it among the same levels as Galaxy 1, because I love Galaxy 1. Galaxy 1 is my favorite Wii game, and it's probably really close to my top 5 as well, so it's a game I really do enjoy. And Galaxy 2, like, I enjoyed it, but not along the same lines, but Thank after this so playthrough, like, my game. I really enjoy this game too. It's been a lot of fun. There are some things I don't like about it, some things I have a problem with, but they don't really ruin anything. And yes, we have a special world. I'll, uh, I'll showcase that now. We also get a message to the Wii message board. I guess I could also show that, too. But yeah, like, you know, there are some things I'm not really that big of a fan of, but there's some things I really love about this game, too, and I can't really fault the game one way or the other. 
What? You're back? I mean, hey, you're back! I see you're ready for more. It's written all over your face. Onward, then. There are still more Power Stars out there, Captain. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. So, um... Yeah, there's a uh, special world. A World S. There's also, uh... Yeah, there's also kind of a comet that we have for the uh, Galaxy Generator. I don't think I'm going to do that now, though. I think I'm going to do that later. But yeah, let's take a look at Special World here. There are some uh, more galaxies that we have. And, uh, yeah. You can bet that we're going to get them all. We are going to get them all. Wow, can you believe it? This must be that strange legendary world we've been hearing rumors about. There are even more Power Stars around here. So let's get go get them, Captain. So, um, I'm going to just go ahead and show a preview here. We start out with uh, Mario Squared Galaxy, which, uh... Honestly, it might look very familiar if you've played another Mario game. Hence, the first Mario Galaxy. But uh, we'll, we'll get to that later, and we'll get we'll get to all of these later because we are we are gonna do everything for sure. Also, uh, damn it! <laughs> oh man, there's more Starbit collecting. I do not like that, but. Uh, you know, worst case scenario, I'll just borrow it from the bank and then just earn up what I have left, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it, I guess. It's still really annoying, though. 2000. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, there, there's still more to do. There's still more to explore in this lovely game of Galaxy. But uh, I'm going to go very quickly to the Wii menu. Just to show off that we what we got from uh, completing the game. I think that seems like a fair compromise to finish out this session. Basically, when you finish something, sometimes the game in question will send a message to your Wii's message board. Here we go. Super Mario Galaxy 2, congratulations. You completed Super Mario Galaxy 2. We applaud your hard work. Thanks for playing, Super Mario Galaxy 2 staff. P.S. See you in Special World. Playtime, 12.59. I think I did leave it on a few times, though, so that's time's probably not entirely accurate. And here's a little photo you get, too, so that's kind of cute. But, um, yeah, we're not done. We still have more, and, uh... I'll see you guys for that more. So next time when we come back, I'm going to do uh, probably the Daredevil run for... Or not Daredevil, the Comet for uh, the last level. I don't think it'll show the credits again or anything. I think it's literally just the Power Star you pick up along the way. And then uh, probably at some point we'll get the uh, last star for the Slimy Spring Galaxy. And then we'll uh, start working on Special Worlds. So this has been Slim Kirby... Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for uh, the first small bit of post-game that we have for this game, followed by the even bigger post-game, and we'll get to that later, later, folks.